The point of this demonstration is to study the properties of the medians, the centroid, and how they connect to a topic known as the center of mass. We can study the center of mass because our piece of cardboard has a uniform thickness. And when choosing your piece of paper for this demonstration, you want to choose something that's not very flimsy, so a piece of cardboard is a good choice. Besides cardboard, the other materials that you might want or need will be a pair of scissors, a marker, and a pencil, a straight edge for drawing the sides of your triangle and helping to construct your medians, and finally, a compass. Now our first step has already been done for us. I have drawn an arbitrary triangle. Now, next, we want to construct two of the medians. And the first step in constructing a median is to find the midpoint of a side. We're going to do this side and then we'll probably do this little smaller side. Construct the median, we use our compass, and we swing an arc from both endpoints of a side that is at least has a radius that is greater than half the distance between those two points of the sides. And we'll do the same for this other point. So we swung two arcs and we'll put our two points down. Point one, point two, just happens to be on that side. Using our straight edge, we will connect it. And right there is going to be the midpoint of this first side. To finish off the median, we connect that point to the vertex of the opposite side. And we now have one of the medians. And now we do the same thing for this other side. Swing an arc, go over, we'll swing the same arc. It looks like our first one didn't go far enough, so we'll go back and do him one more time. There it is. And where that intersects, right here and right here, connect those two points where that segment intersects. The smaller side will be the midpoint of that side. To finish off that median, connect the midpoint to the vertex of the opposite side. Okay. And where those two medians intersect, it's kind of hard to see, is right here. And we know that the medians of a triangle are concurrent, so we don't need to do the third side. We'll know that he intersects there. To make it a little easier to see, I'll do a big dot right there. That's the centroid. Now we want to study something known as the center of mass. And the center of mass of an object is where we should be able to balance that object. To be able to balance this triangle, Let's cut them out. We've now cut out our triangle. And we're almost home free. What we're going to do is we're going to try to find exactly where this triangle should balance. If I go maybe too far on this edge, it'll fall off. If I go too far over here, it'll do the same thing, and closer to here. So it's got to be somewhere in the center. So if I go here and play with it, we're going to try to find the point where you should balance. And it appears that the point is somewhere right around there. And what we'll do is we'll turn it over, and holding our eraser there, we'll bring our marker in, 
We'll put a dot right there. Scooting it over. You know it's right there. And if I get some lead on this pencil and poke a hole through, I note that where it comes out is right on our centroid. And a centroid is going to be where our triangle is perfectly balanced. 